I started vlogging since 2016, but my friends always complained that my audio was bad. And only two years later, I decided to fork out some money to buy. Hi everyone, welcome back to the studio. It has been a while. I just came by to get some canvases home so that I can paint for the next two weeks. And since I'm here, I thought I might as well just film this video here because the lighting is much better here compared to at home. Let's get into it. Today, I'm going to review three microphones that I own that I use for all sorts of videos. I'm not going to do a very technical kind of review because you can read all that online and their website. All I can tell you is how I have used these microphones, what I find good and not so good about them, and see maybe if you're going to start filming vlog or any kind of video that you want to do, maybe you can pick a microphone out of these three. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the Aleph Aperture Lavalier Mic. And it is my very first mic that I bought. When I was in Singapore, I think in 2018, I stumbled upon this. This one's only less than 150 ringgit. And I think it really does the job. So this is how it comes in. This cute little zip box. So it's really convenient. It's only this small. You can put it into your bag. I don't think it can fit your pocket, but you can see how tiny it is. Okay, first thing I like is of course it's cheap. Second thing I like is that it is very portable. And then if you open it, this is how it looks like from the inside. It has a dead cat too. It has wires for your charger adapter, which I never use because the mic never seems to need charging over the two, three years I had it. And then this is the recorder wire, but I've also never used this because I don't have a recorder. And then here is the mic. So it has this very, very long wire. Probably, I don't know how many meters this is, but it's so long that it can wrap around your whole body. You can clip this part onto your shirt so it can't be seen. The mic is down there and you can put the sponge on it. Just wrap it around. The adapter has a hook, so you can hook this onto your pocket. And then there's also for mobile. So you plug this one into your phone. Plug this here, because this goes to the mobile phone, so this is the out. Plug your microphone in the hole above it, here, mic in, and then out to mobile. This is for your earphones if you want to hear what you're saying from the mobile. I'm, I don't use this anymore. I use the Samsung wireless earbuds, so I don't have to deal with so many wires. Yeah, you must plug it in like this. If not, you will not be able to record anything on your mobile. And because my Samsung has a USB-C, I had to buy this adapter. This is where the four mobile wire goes in. Ding, and it works. I use an app with this uh, lavalier mic on the phone, which is the Rec Forge 2, just so that I can adjust the volume of the recording. This microphone is great for if only you are talking on the mic or if you are doing, say, a Stays and Spaces video. So check out our Stays and Spaces videos. I have filmed two videos, mainly with this microphone, which is the Waterfront Hotel Review and the Co 55 Hotel Review. For most part of those videos, I have used this Aperture ALEF mic. You can hear the audio quality from those videos. What I like about it is that, okay, one, you can plug it into your phone and then you can just put the phone in your pocket and walk around as far as you can from the camera and you can still hear your voice clearly. Now the cons about this is that it has this long wire so you always have to plug it into your phone and then when you use your phone's mic, you can't use your phone's audio. The other problem with it is that you record the audio separately. So you record all this audio onto your phone. So you have two things that you have to merge together in post-production. So the only reason why I bought the ALAV mic before is because my first two cameras did not have audio ports. But then ever since I got this new camera, which is the Sony A6400, it has the port. So that made life so much easier. That's when I got this one, the Rode Video Micro. This one is a small, cute, mini micro one. I think it works great with my camera because my camera is so small and this just balances it out well. It comes with this microphone, this wire that connects into your camera, this rubber thing. So when you're walking, it doesn't, the mic doesn't knock onto anything. And then you can plug it into this. They call this the dead cat. To stop wind from getting into your audio. This is the audio test on the video micro mic. I'm standing behind the camera. So as you can see, the wire here gets a little bit in the way of the camera. Um, and this is how it sounds like in front of the camera. How does it sound like? Clear? Not clear? For this distance, this is how it sounds like. This is behind it. Here. Here. Can you still hear me? Am I clear? How clear am I? You're probably going to hear all the echoes right now. I don't know if you can hear the echoes, but... Yep, this is how it sounds like. 
This is a newspaper article of me and Janani painting the Feast and Furious mural. I think this is great for travel. The great part is that you don't have to sync your audio later with your video because it's directly recorded together. And when you talk to people, you can hear everyone talking. But I don't really like it for uh, interviews or doing a States and Spaces video with it. But apart from that, if you're just going to hold it like this, this is a great, great small convenient microphone to consider and it's only 200 something ringgit so this last mic which i'm using right now and you can see the clip right here this is the rode wireless go it is directly connected to my camera right now and it is wireless i didn't bring the box but it comes with these two a receiver and a microphone which is this one here which you can just clip easily come let me see there's a clip here that i just clip into my shirt for girls, if we're wearing low cuts or soft material, yeah, you, your shirt will tend to do that crease thing. Oh, you can also plug in a microphone, so it's not that bad. And this is the microphone part, the one that I clipped onto my shirt. I haven't pulled this off yet because, yeah, I hope to keep the smooth surface on as long as possible. Who else keeps their stickers on until they cannot stand it? <laughs> this is the microphone. Microphone, you can cl clip this, the little dead cat that they give, onto the microphone. But it's not very tight. It's quite flimsy when you try. There, there you go, just like that. The receiver part also comes with this wire. You can see the receiver's battery and the and the microphone's battery. This is what I love about it. It's so small, super convenient. I put both the receiver and the microphone into this little thing. It's great for travel, I think. So imagine walking around, you don't have a gigantic fluff ball on your camera when you're talking. You can just put this here, put that on, and look so inconspicuous. Nobody really knows that you're vlogging. Okay, they know that you're vlogging because you're holding your camera like this, but it doesn't look so, you know, so crazy. Plus, you can just talk however you want, and the audio is always clear because the microphone is always right beside your mouth. Compared to this, the best part is that you can walk as far as 70 meters with this microphone. Uh, my studio is not 70 meters, but let me show you how it is like at 7 meters. This is right in front of the camera. This is how it sounds like. And let me go all the way back there. Can you hear me here? Can you hear me here? Yeah, obviously you can hear me because the mic is right here. You can't do this with the fluffy mic. I obviously really love this. It's about 800 ringgit, about 200 US dollars. It's really expensive for a beginner, I think. Uh, but since I'm going to use this for work now, I think this is a worthy investment. Plus, it's super convenient for both me when I travel and work and for my videographer. So I'm glad that I bought this one. Honestly, I don't know how good all of these microphones are compared to the really high-end brands. But I think these three microphones work well for me. And I hope that this video helps you decide which microphone you want to buy. If you own any of these three microphones, do comment below what you love about it, what you don't love about it. Maybe someone will find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our previous travel vlog or my artwork playlist here. I'm putting more and more effort into my artwork playlist where I start to talk about design and show you the whole process. So do check it out and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!